Hi everyone, and welcome to another edition of Tykes Tips. I'm Maurice, a mental health consultant housed in the Monroe, Louisiana area, and today I'll be talking to you about disruptive behavioral disorders. So children with disruptive behavior disorders usually stand out in the classroom because they have significant difficulty with following directions, being safe with themselves and others, and also staying calm when challenged. Tip one. So children with disruptive behaviors will benefit from a more structured environment. So try to structure the environment to where you follow the same timeline every day. Sometimes things can go off schedule, but try to the best ability to stick to a, a structured schedule and environment for a child with disruptive behaviors. So our next tip would be providing positive attention. We all know that kids respond to either positive or negative attention. They don't differentiate between the two. So if the only time you respond to a child is when they're doing the exact thing that you asked them not to do, they're okay with this. But what we want to do is try to catch them when they're doing the things that we asked of them. Some examples of this can be good job waiting your turn or Thank you for using your inside voice. And you want to specifically call the child by name. They feel a sense of pride when, when, when speaking, when, when you're talking directly to them instead of a, in general terms. And lastly, you want to provide clear consequences. So children with disruptive behavior disorders function best when they are able to earn back privileges that they've lost due to the disruptive behaviors. So maybe removing them from playing with a certain toy or removing them from a certain play area when they're displaying disruptive behaviors. They function best when they know that if I'm removed from this area, that I know that I can't go back to this area if I'm displaying these behaviors. So I have to straighten up in order to return to doing the thing that I wanted to do. So clear consequences, letting them know that if you display disruptive behaviors, these are the list of possibility, possible things that can happen. So in summary, you wanna catch the kids doing the exact thing that you asked them to do and provide positive feedback, provide positive praise to them when they're doing the things that you asked them to do. Second, clear consequences. You want the child to know exactly what will happen if they're displaying disruptive behaviors and how they are able to earn that privilege back. Lastly, you want to have a structured environment for a child with disruptive behavior disorders so that they know what's expected of them on a day in and day out basis when they enter the classroom or home or community setting. You wanna make sure that all expectations are set out clearly. Thank you for joining me today for another edition of Tykes Tips. Again, I'm Maurice, a mental health consultant housed in the Monroe, Louisiana area. Look forward to providing you with some more tips in the future.